Hi friends, welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Anabong and I am a self-taught artist in training. Today we are going to be starting a brand new sketchbook. This will be the third sketchbook I hope to fill cover to cover and I'm actually really excited about it. Despite this horrible brown smudge that I found on the first page of my brand new sketchbook, but hopefully things don't get any worse than that. So this is a mixed media sketchbook by Strathmore with paper that's thick enough to withhold watercolours because I've found that that's the medium I've been gravitating towards the most. 2023 is all about saying goodbye to fear and trepidation and so I've decided to spend a little time making the first page of my sketchbook somewhat special. So I pulled out this book that I recently acquired, I will link it below to find some lettering and calligraphy inspiration. I saw this book first on uh, Jess Karp's YouTube video. I saw her using it on her channel and I can't recommend it enough. It's brilliant and it saves me a ton of time looking for script inspiration on Pinterest. Speaking of inspiration, I've decided to fill this first page with my family, AKA my inspiration. I learnt two things while designing this first page. One is that I really miss the liquify tool when drawing non-digitally. All my digital artists, you know what's up. And two, I can't draw cats. Maybe I'll have to set myself a challenge in the future to draw cats for a week and see if I improve at all. One of my goals for this year is to develop my own illustrative style and I know that we are almost at the end of the first quarter of this year but that means we have three quarters left and so we've got a lot of time to keep working on our goals for the year. Don't give up now. I'm slowly beginning to understand that to discover a style that feels very me, I have to experiment with a bunch of different styles. So you'll see there's some wee little experimentation that go on here and there. It's not a lot. I need to learn to be more adventurous. But that's what this first page and that's what the sketchbook is all about. It's going to be about letting go of perfection, especially seeing as my art is never going to be perfect anyway. Oh, so so here is where things do get worse on the brown smudge. So the first picture is just the self-portrait. Then I did a picture of myself and my son. Then this is me and my husband. And then I drew myself and Motley, my cat. Turns out, I only really know how to draw myself. This profile of my husband came out horribly and I make it worse later. The reference is from a wedding picture and I promise you that the reference is far better than the illustration. I don't think I look too bad in the illustration though. So anyway, as I was saying, this year, my mantra for this year and this sketchbook is all about practice makes progress. I know it's a cliche at this point, but it's, good, it's a good thing to remind ourselves of because I feel like so many of us chase perfection and perfection is unreachable. We just have to chase progression. And progress isn't linear. I'm sure slash I hope that there are going to be some pieces in this sketchbook that I love and I'm absolutely certain that there are going to be pieces that I hate. But the most important thing is that I create pieces. It took me over a year to fill my last sketchbook and granted it does have more pages but what that tells me is that I wasn't working in it nearly enough. I wasn't, I wasn't practicing daily and the only way that you can improve and improve fast is to have regular practice. So my goal is to be done with this sketchbook by the end of, by the, end of the summer. I want to fill it with sketches and experimentations and studies. I want to take it out and about with me and use it to document my life. I want to draw everything. And I do want to draw, I do want to practice gouache, gouache, gouache. I hear people pronounce this pain so many different, so many different ways, but I want to get some of that gouache paint and learn how to use that as well. So if you have any recommendations for that, link them below.
The watercolours I'm using in this piece is a 12 set of twos by Art, by Art Alternatives. I finally graduated from my $5 set from Marshalls. And um, these are again, they're inexpensive. They're perfectly functional and great for beginners. They're definitely better than the $5 set that I got from Marshalls, but they have no comparison on a professional set or even a student set from Windsor & Newton. I'm probably gonna keep using these as I experiment and learn how to use watercolors more and better. And then eventually I'll splash out on some Windsor & Newtons and enjoy the vibrancy of the colors and that extra special blending that they offer. Although these do blend well, they're not bad. Um, they do at some point get blotchy, but because we're artists, we're gonna just call it texture. See, this is where it, this is where the texture comes out. Also, note to sell, I need to seriously spend some time drawing hands because the hands on this page are atrocious. So as you can probably tell, I went back to try and fix the profile of my husband and I made it worse. You see this line? Don't ask me about the line. I don't know what came over me, I don't know what I thought the line was going to achieve, but it's awful. All I hope is that one day we can look back on this and laugh. So for added texture and depth, I'm going back over the watercolour which is dried now with some pencil crayons from Blick. They are the Blick brand and again they are great and affordable for beginners but they aren't going to give you the same vibrancy and smoothness as a Prisma. So here it is, my completed first page. There were some successes and a lot of failures, but that's what this sketchbook is about. The key word here is growth. And I hope that any aspiring artists are also willing to jump on this train with me and crack open your own sketchbooks and grow in your art along with me. As always, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and let me know what you'd like to see next. Have a good day, good evening, or good night. Goodbye.
Stick around when the walls start to 